Check, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two, it's time once again, baby, another episode of This Old Outboard coming right at you. Go over this one more time. Joe Reeves, wide open throttle method. I can't remember if I did it on the 60 or not and screwed up my timing because of the service bulletin on these motors that were having overheating issues. That's why the jets are not the original jets. They sold a kit with the bigger jet instead of the 44Ds, they were 46, 47D. I think it said 4070, but what's in there are the 46Ds in the 60 horse carbs. Once you redid the carbs, with the new jets, you were supposed to bump the timing to 16 or 17, not 19. That's why that 12 is on the flywheel. Because they had done everything, they did all that crap with that motor back whenever the service bulletins came out. And the only thing they didn't do was move the uh, P tube up to the top. And I made a big deal about them, like, well, 20 years later, I'm not going to worry about this thing, you know. They didn't do it then, I'm not going to do it now. But I had totally forgotten about the other part of the service bulletins, where changing the jets, the timing, supposed to keep the motor running cooler. So I'm going to hook up the timing light, see where I'm at on that thing, because I vaguely remember, you know, doing it, but I'm not 100% sure if I did it. I know I did the 55. So, run down there and see. See where it's at. That's the only thing left that could be affecting the speed of that motor. Here's the 12 that they had marked add four that's going to put you at 16 here's the 20 unless they were doing it at you know 13 whatever here's the 20 that's going to put you at 19 so let's see what's happening go get some tools there's my plugs that's the worst i've ever freaking seen these plugs Jeezel peasel. Alright, so I'm all hooked up. Timing light, push button starter, key on. Glad the cloud came in. Let's see if we can see this thing. I'm looking for that 12 on my pointer here. Trigger pulled. Nope, it's on it. I didn't touch it. Man, I was hoping that I had changed this thing, but I didn't. So, I guess what I'll do is uh, go get the 70 carbs, put them back on. I did gain a couple miles an hour with the 70 carbs. That new prop, man, that thing weighs a ton. So far, I'm doing good prop-wise. I haven't spent a ton of money on props. I've got the 17 stainless, nice prop. Somebody told me to bring it to a prop shop and see if they could put it, put it into a 19. But I, I guess I'll go get them 70 horse carts and put them back on and see if I got some plugs, better looking plugs, or take those home, try to clean them. I don't know what's going on there. They never look like that. All right, I got me some brand new NGKs. I think they were when I bought the, all those plugs and did that fun with Spark Plug Day. And they're the uh, BR9HS 10, which is good for the QL77JC4s. All right, I'm going to go for a quick buzz. Let's see what happens with this prop on this. With those carbs, I should say. And I don't have a lot of gas. 
I got gas at home. I just didn't bring it with me. So just a quick buzz. Grills Lakeside Restaurant. Here it is. Grills Lakeside Seafood Deck and Tiki Bar. So once again, what I do is I just look up Grills Restaurant over here. I hit the <coughs> hit directions on Google, and it gives me GPS. I don't have to have a you know a freaking app on my phone eating up more crap. Alright, let's take her up easy. Oh, man. Is this thing on? <laughs> I like that new prop. I can feel it's nice and smooth. sure I'd hit 34. Man, that prop, it's just, it's heavy as hell. I don't know, I, that has to make a difference. That thing weighs a ton compared to that aluminum prop. That still felt like the motor was too high even though I was hitting 33. I was afraid to, to bring it up anymore. I was sure I was gonna do 34 easy. so nice out, man. I don't want to sit at home. That's for damn sure. It's all I've been doing, man. Sitting at home trying to recoup. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Ah, I'm going to be crippled tomorrow again. But I, I'm not doing this stick crap anymore. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. When I put something in, I put something in. <laughs> I've been jacking it. A little bottle jack. And torching the glue. That Loctite Marine stuff is good stuff. Still need it for my template. 
for the wood, but I, I'm just not, you know, I knew when I put it in here, I was like, eh, you know, wood is so expensive right now, I swap it out later, but I might even leave the little piece up front, and just do the rest and ply. Now, I mean, you're just not even going to believe what this thing weighs. That's just half of it. So if it's got to come out, it'll come out. Yeah. About six inches to go. Here it goes. So uh, be a lot easier carrying, but with two pieces, you know, it's not so much the weight and the speed as it is the weight and the way the boat. You know, I did that one video when I put it in. It was like change the geometry. You know, I'm like, is that even the right word? I mean, you could feel it. You know. So took time off of this. Worked on the. The van, the RV, I don't even remember anymore. But anyway, I haven't even tried that new prop out yet. So maybe today, get down here tomorrow and see how that, that $35 prop is going to work. Then I ordered a, a brand new prop, Solus prop, I think it is. But it's the kind with the hub, and that hub will fit, you know, many different props. That and there's a bunch of them on sale on like offer up and Craigslist and Marketplace. But for for you know the price I got everything for us, it should just get just get the whole thing new, then start experimenting with more props. See what happens. Alright, baby, it's here. Hee hee hee. Oh, it's an unboxing video. I hate unboxing videos. Hey, she look good. Uh, what is this? Do not use with Johnson Evan Root Suzuki two stroke. This is what I'm talking about here. It's got the hub kit. And like I says, you know, people are selling these props, but you gotta have the hub kit. Made in Taiwan. Oh boy, look how wide these freaking blades are. That's a lot wider than the old right here. This was been the super prop. Look at the difference. That's right, beat it up as soon as you get it. <laughs> look at the difference. I hope this is going to be, you know, end this whole thing with the speed. But this is the prop right here that I was getting 38 mile an hour plus on. So look at this puppy. Wow. Hopefully this is going to solve the issues because I can't find anything else wrong. So let's see what we got here now. I don't know where you're supposed to measure this at, but that's like, you know, five inches. And this is four and a quarter-ish. But see, here's what I've been saying about this thing. Is it just always looks more raked out than the other props. You know, just the way these things twist and turn and... So from this edge of this blade to this edge of this blade, probably about three and a half-ish. So here, from that blade to that blade, three and a half-ish. 
when I saw that other prop, boy, it looked so much like this one. 35 bucks, too. I couldn't beat that deal. But it weighs a freaking ton. This don't weigh nothing. I don't, I don't care about stainless steel props and, you know, mm. you can't tell me this thing is flexing that much. You know, we're not talking about a freaking speedboat here. I think this is going to solve my problems. If it doesn't, then I, I give up. I absolutely give up. It's just, I can't find anything wrong with that motor. Oh yeah, baby, next time on this old outboard. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Drop the new sticky in now. And then this. It's not dropping in very far. I think it's, you might it's supposed to tap it. Well, once you get the nut on, that'll bring it down. Oh yeah, baby.